So the Hemp Lecture Series continues. Um, the Sanjay Gupta, Sanjay Gupta, he keeps on doing all these reports. He's like some big CNN guy or some known nationally known figure who's just like changed his mind on medical marijuana. And uh, he, there's an article where he says that whole cannabis is better than just CBD or THC. So Kentucky passed CBD uh, medical marijuana, but nothing else. So therefore. Um, we're not actually offering the full benefits that medical marijuana has to offer when you offer the whole plant because there's actually 66 cannabinoids, um, at least 66 cannabinoids, unique compounds found in just marijuana, uh, hip marijuana. Uh, that means all of those has the possibility of being the active substance that actually cures cancer and helps with seizures and does all these um, wonderful things and so you could isolate each one of them and see which one you know helps with uh, um, cancer which one you know which one is curing all these these mice uh, that they keep finding you know that they keep shrinking and cured of cancer a quarter of the mice is cancer were cured with um, THC so whole cannabis is even better than just THC so you wouldn't want just THC you don't want just CBD you want to have all of them there's 66 at least but there's like at least um, nine of them I feel like that most uh, people should know um, because they're they're like the biggest isolated ones there's uh, CBG, CBC, CBD, THC, CBN, CBDL, CBL, CBE, CBT okay and that's uh, cannabig gerals, CBG, cannabichromines, uh, bichromines, okay cannabichromines <laughs> So that's CBC, uh, cannabidiols, CBD, that's what's legal in Kentucky is just CBD only. And so it's actually a fig leaf, so it actually kind of stops medical marijuana from being, um, I don't know, I think the next step is full-blown legalization because why not, why just do medical marijuana? Why not just say open up the, the gates and say, uh, you know, join the ranks of Colorado and Washington and pretty much the rest of the country is going to follow um, in these footsteps, Kentucky's this is number one uh, cash crop in Kentucky, and um, it's you know uh, we have a long history of hemp, long history of raising tobacco, and so that's a good replacement crop. It has 25,000 uses as hemp. So the, the arguments for legalization is absolutely uh, overwhelming. It's clear, of course, you should legalize uh, hemp marijuana. You've already hit, you already legalized the seed, right? Hemp and marijuana is the exact same seed. So the only difference is how you cultivate it. If you spread a bunch of seeds, it's hemp. But if you just spread one here and one there and one there, and it actually um, it raises into a bush and there's a blue, that's how you have to do that for seeds. So you're going to need more seeds. And so for hemp seeds to be developed, you're going to have to raise marijuana because in order for the buds to uh, form the seeds, you'll have to have, you know, it'll have to bloom out. And that's how you'll get most of the seeds and you'll get good quality seeds that way too. Um, I would assume, I don't know, I've never actually uh, raised it or seeded it, but I would like to have a piece of ground by next year, and I would raise seeds. That would be the biggest, they had a big problem with uh, getting all their seeds coming in. They said that's not enough because you have to spread so much seed on the ground for it to be hemp. You need, ton, you know, just like 500 pounds of seed, I think, covers 10 acres. So that's only 10 acres. If you try to get, I don't know, a, a thousand acres or so, then that means you need, you know, 100 times um, 500 bags, and so that's you know what 50,000. So you need 50,000 uh, pounds of seeds. So you need as much seeds as possible. Anyways, there's a tetra hydrocannabinol. Can, uh, let's see, tetra hydrocannabinols. Um, I think it's delta delta tetra hydrocannabinols as THC cannabinol CBN cannabinodial. So cannabinodial cannabino. Uh, no cannabino, cannabinodial, cannabidial, uh, cannabicyclo. Wait, that looks weird. But uh, cannabicyclo, clow, clo, clo, lol, <laughs> bicyclo, lol, cbl, uh, cannabial, sion. I think actually just known the CBT, CBE, CBL, CBDL, CBN, THC, CBD, CBC. And CBG will be sufficient because you can always look up the you know the specific date, but that's easier to talk about because they're all can I can I can I can I can I can and it's like yeah you can go ahead you know it's a benodial or it's a benodi or a benol or ben so anyways uh, there's nine major cannabinoid uh, 
canna, canna denoid subclasses so those are the the nine subclasses right so uh, those uh, those are the subclasses but there's 66 uh, uh, elements overall so that means you know it's just a good idea to have the whole plant legalized and you could have whole plant medicine instead of just trying to pull out because I think there's only one company actually that like offers or there's like only four strands or whatever but one company is making a killing by getting all these uh, Bible Belt states sort of legalizing CBD but not legalizing anything else because CBD has no you can't get a high off of it but that's that's kind of ridiculous actually the, it's hungry happy sleepy that's what you those are the side effects to marijuana so if the hungry happy sleepy side effects are what the Bible Belt folks are afraid of instead of actually curing the cancer they're saying well they're gonna get high while their cancer is being cured that's you're being really selfish and you're being naive and stupid prohibition never worked the logic is just really overwhelming for legalization because uh, you're creating criminals you're creating the Al Capones you're making it uh, you're creating a profit incentive just basic supply and demand I mean just look at the economics when you made the Cuban cigar illegal you know the price of a Cuban cigar is that much more expensive so the same thing with marijuana and um, and so yeah there's nine major cannabinoid subclasses or, or cannabinoid subclasses you should try to learn the differences uh, whole cannabis is better than just CBD truth on pots uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta CNN's chief medical correspondent and accomplished neurosurgeon recently became a medical marijuana advocate after many years of fighting against it um, he had a documentary named Weed. It premiered on CNN. So, yeah, CNN. In an interview with business insider Dr. Gupta explained the, the differences between THC and CBD and the advantages of using the whole cannabis plant instead of CBD by itself. Just taking the CBD out and using, a lo using it alone doesn't seem to work as well as when it's with all the other compounds that are probably playing some role. Because of its lack of psychoactivity, meaning it can't get you high, patients like six-year-old Charlotte Fiji and her family prefer CBD over THC. So they prefer CBD over THC for Charlotte uh, Figgy, but that's only for Charlotte Figgy. That doesn't, you know, it's hit and miss. Um, it's really hit and miss. 25% of those mice uh, cancers was being cured, so that means 75% of them weren't. Uh, but they were shrinking. They were getting smaller cancer, but they weren't being cured. So Charlotte's success with using medical marijuana to treat her rare form of epilepsy is featured in the uh, Dr. Gupta's documentary as well as the difficulties her family faced in obtaining the medicine. While many doctors still reject the idea that marijuana can stop seizures, Dr. Gupta states that research exists showing otherwise. CBD has been shown for some time now, decades, that it can have a medicinal effect specifically on convulsive disorders convulsive or seizure disorders so Charlotte found relief in a CBD rich strain bred specifically for her by the Stanley brothers of Teller County Colorado which she takes twice a day as an oil extract the 300 seizures a week she used to suffer from now only happens two to three times a month so that uh, really helped her CBD did but uh, he still thinks that the whole plant medicine is better than just um, partial plant medicine